The struggle over Matthew ramps up when Charlie informs Jack he's going to apply for custody of his son, which leads Jack to make an insane move. Max tries to talk Jack back from his plan, a dark conversation which Ricky and Amy overhear. Then Jack is thrown off course by a surprise arrival. Patrick is back in the square and comforts a shattered Denise, while Kim is dismayed when he reveals why Denise is so broken. She visits her sister and begs her forgiveness, then puts Carmel in the picture about her friend and tells Vincent she's got a plan to help. Will Denise listen to it? Paranoid Stephen is losing his grip and turning stalker as he researches ways to keep track of Lauren. His plans for a candlelight dinner go awry, and when Josh brings an unwell Lauren home, he increases the awkwardness by inviting Josh to stay for food. Johnny and Kathy are worried about Whitney's subdued mood. Will Mick reveal why, as he frets over Fee accepting his business plan for the Vic? Next, we take the temperature in Weatherfield. Shona is stunned to learn from David that her ex, Nathan, is Bethany's boyfriend. She knows him too well, and she demands he stays away from her. But as she's leaving, she's viciously attacked by two thugs, while Craig finds her in the ginnel and calls an ambulance. Nathan punishes Bethany when she shows him up at the party. He apologises and persuades her to go to a bedroom with three men, just as David, Shona, Gary and Sarah race to his flat. Can they prevent the rape? Nick goes against his nature and tries to make peace with Peter, Toya and Steve by going to the beach. But their kickabout soon turns into a squabble. Nick lands a low blow by telling Peter he knows Leanne's alibi is fake because he saw him on the night himself, prompting Leanne to tell him they're over. Nick heads off alone and is sucked into quicksand. He tries to get help but drops his phone. He's stuck fast as the tide starts coming in. Is this the end? Ken suddenly realises who pushed him and faces his attacker. Is he in danger? The attacker is soon arrested and decides to confess. Finally, it's time for the Dales. Aaron is coming round to the idea of Robert being a dad, but his partner remains adamant he wants nothing to do with the baby. But his feeling may be redundant when Rebecca falls ill and is taken to hospital. Is the baby okay? And will Rebecca choose to leave the village behind? Chrissy tries to spark Lachlan's interest in the business. When an attractive intern turns up, she says they should get a photo together, knowing full well Belle is looking on. Carly's feeling guilty about Marlon's miserable demeanour, and they reconcile. But just when he decides to propose again, he spots Carly and Matt together. Matt is trying to lure Carly into business, then later confesses his true feelings, leans in for a kiss, and asks her to leave the village with him. Meanwhile, Laurel is saying all the right things to a downcast Marlon, which inspires him to kiss his old flame. Will she reciprocate? 